Hey guys, this is Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus, and this tutorial is a request from one of my subscribers at YouTube. He requested how to mix occlusion and the AI curvature to mix them together so that they both drive the textures. In the past, I used shader balls, but I got a little tired of using them, and I saw other tutorials using this uh, Happy Buddha. So I found it, I downloaded it, and you guys can now download it yourself at my website at academicphoenixplus.com. This is called the Happy Buddha, and you guys will have access to it at academicphoenixplus.com. All right, so the first thing we want to do is put the occlusion and the AI curvature map together so that it will drive the material. In the previous tutorial, I also did a texturing tab here, so make sure you take a look at that so you know how to create this very handy and useful workspace. Right now, I have all my attributes. I have my untitled stuff here, all my nodes, where my nodes are going to be, my render, and of course, this. Uh, assign a new node. We'll assign a new material. We're gonna go to Arnold Surface Shader. And, wow, it's so small, press F. And we're gonna select this, and this is going to be our first material. And I actually really like the idea that this is gonna be Jade. Okay, now that I have done, I'm gonna go ahead and do a preset. Uh, there is a preset called Jade, so let's go ahead and replace that. I'm gonna go ahead and assign it to my character and see what that looks like right now. So this is Jade, it's a little a little shiny. That might be okay, I might wanna make it a little bit tighter shine. Well actually, yeah, it's okay. And uh, I'm just gonna pretend that this is made out of Jade and when you scratch the corners of the occlusion, there's going to be metallic underneath it, like a chrome, something really noticeable, maybe even gold. So that'd be kind of crazy, but um, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever in reality, but we're gonna go ahead and play with that. So let's create another shader, or you can always just press tab, AI, standard. Click on that. I'll stop this, because it's gonna kill my CPU. And this one we're going to label, let's do Chrome. Something crazy like Chrome. So presets, Chrome, something really noticeable like Chrome. So, so far so good. You guys should already know how to do this, but just in case, I'm hitting one, by the way, so I can collapse these. All right, so now that I have this, let's go ahead and create the mix node. All right, so now we are going to the out color to shader two, and then the out color to shader one, and, oops, I grabbed the wrong one somehow. Let's do that again. Out color to shader. Let's go ahead and assign this to our object and press play. All right, so this is a mix of Chrome as well as Jade, right? So that's what's driving this guy right now. So what we really want is to see occlusion and the AI curvature node. So uh, for that, we actually have to mix them together as well. So this is gonna be a little bit of fun. So let's go ahead and do an AI mix, AI mix shader. And this out color is going to be going to the mix. And you'll notice that it's gray. So we're gonna grab the R and plug it into the mix. Okay, so far so good. But there's nothing we have mixed so far, so we're going to grab the ambient occlusion. So here's the AI ambient occlusion. We're gonna grab the out color and drag it into here. So let's see what this looks like so far. It's a little hard to see, but the jade is actually much more stronger where the occlusion is than in other areas. How can I tell? Well, let's go ahead and do isolate select. So let's grab this and I can grab my mix shader and you can see the occlusion. And if I grab my ambient occlusion, this is the occlusion. Now notice that there's a little bit of, of loss of translation here and part of it is because of that 50%. So I want the 100% of the occlusion uh, based on the mix shader, I can go ahead and do that, and now it's a lot more noticeable. Let me go ahead and save, because I know something horrible is going to happen. Okay, so now that we have this set up, the next thing we want to do is control this occlusion with an AI range. So we're going to be mixing a lot of things together. So it might get a little complicated, but uh, the only thing we really have to remember that this mix shader is going to be driving these two colors. That might actually be cool that maybe this looks like it's made out of silver, but really it's made out of jade underneath. So let's play with that. But I'm not, not, too, fa not too fond of the chrome right now. It's a little strong. So let me go ahead and increase my roughness so it's not so crazy bright. It's just way over the top sometimes. Okay, let's see what that looks like now. Okay, so that makes me happier. 
All right, let's play with what we have so far. Oh, Kidoki. So now that we have um, the ambient occlusion, we need to control the ambient occlusion a little bit more. Now, there's a couple of ways we could do this. We can play around with our values here, so we can maybe decrease the uh, the far clip, or we can increase the samples because it is a little tight, and then we can decrease the spread, so we get really dramatic blacks. Uh, but it doesn't really give me the, the range that I'm looking for. So I'm going to use this as an AI range. And for the ones who think I'm going a little fast, um, I really I encourage you to go ahead and take a look at my previous tutorials. They are really helpful. They kind of go over this already. And if you have any questions, probably a lot of those are going to be answered there. All right, so I've got my ambient occlusion. I've got my AI range. And with this, I can start cranking back the value. So I can increase. So it depends how much of the jade I want to see. So this is going to be very dramatic because this is really dark and really bright. So let's take a look at what it looks like. So you can see that the areas where it's really dark, I'm starting to see the jade. And where it's really light, it's going to be very uh, chrome-like. Might want to crank that down a little bit and just maybe not so obvious. All right, cool. So we'll go with this. And the next thing we want is to use the AI curvature node. And the AI curvature node just means that it's going to take a look at the curves of this object and create a map based on that. Let me rotate a little bit here. Maybe get a little closer so we can see the effect. I'm going to stop this. And I'm going to go ahead and create uh, an AI curvature. What I can do is just go ahead and plug it in, which I'll show you. Bloop. And if I take a look at what that looks like, this is the mix. This is the curvature. Similar to the occlusion, anything dark, the jade's going to show up. So I want to go ahead and do the same thing here. But this is a little strong. If I go and take a look, I'm not going to see much of a, of a difference. There's not much of a curvature here. So it's, it's overpowering. So let's go ahead and add a uh, AI range. Grab this. Grab this. Make sure I put it in the right place. And now we can play with the AI range. All right, so I'm going to crank my values. So I'm going to clamp them, OK? So that means that I'm making it very, very obvious. Like, this is where I want the, cur the brightness to be. And I might need to play with the output min and max as well. So I might need to make this a little bit brighter. Just kind of play around with the values a little bit until you're happy with what you what you get. Right, so let's go ahead and change this to uh, 50%. All right, so what we have here is both of these being mixed together with the AI curvature map, which is this, through the range, which gives you that value, which I might want to, again, I'm, just re I'm trying to get that color. Now, you can see that uh, with this combined with this, we're getting some pretty interesting results. A look at his feet. Now, when we take a look at this, we actually have to inverse the colors. What we really want to see is black being uh, placed on top of this. And I'm going to go ahead to the range and I'm going to inverse the colors by flipping it like so. There we go. So now I have blacks here. I have some curvature here. I could probably go a little little darker. I'm trying to get that really nice edge here. I'm trying to get that curvature map. Let's click one one. I'm gonna save before something horrible happens. So you can see that I got a nice little outline. All right, so now I have this. Take a look at my final render, and that's what I have so far. So that's how you mix together. I do have it reacting at 50%. If I want it to be a little bit more predominantly with the curvature map, I can increase the mix weight. Um, or I can leave it at 50% or go a little bit more occlusion and start sliding the mix weight to the left. But about 0.5 is the mix between the two. But go ahead and crank it up a little bit more if you want to see that nice edge. So here is the render where you can see the chrome. You can see the jade underneath the chrome. We can also reverse it like I, I was planning to. So let's go ahead and reverse the out color of the chrome with the jade. 
So now I get a different look, which is predominantly jade, but it's also being driven by occlusion. So you can see the chrome underneath the areas where there is occlusion and also being driven by the curvature node. So you can see that here, right here is the curve as well. So let's go ahead and turn off the select and see the whole thing in wonder. And let's stop this and actually just render it locally. All right, that was a quick tutorial on how to mix AI curvature as well as AI chrome together with a diff two shaders, which is the jade as well as the chrome. This is a lot of fun to play with. You can get a lot of really nice materials. Hope you enjoyed that. I think it's kind of fun experimenting with the, with the shaders provided by Arnold. I think it produces some really nice results. Have fun, enjoy, and let me know if you have any questions. Don't forget to uh, sign up at academicphoenixplus.com. You can download this file. You can also subscribe to my newsletter where you will get uh, workshops, seminars, and free models, and all sorts of stuff. So don't forget to sign up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like my video if you think it's helpful, share with your friends uh, in social media my video, and please uh, feel free to contact me if you have any questions. Thank you so much for all your support. I appreciate it. And I will see you next time.